doing all that stuff. I'm gonna wake her up now. Baby, wake up. You're finished. Wake up, wake up. Wake up, sleeping beauty. Come on, you're done. I mean, for us, yeah, peel like, everything that can be that needs to be peeled. We were kind of like, you know, like a little bit pre, like. Did you try to do some homework on it? Like, really didn't want to go the chemo route, and, you know. Wanted to do the natural right. Um, and, and, and I, have, you know, talked to. I have a couple guys that I train with that are doctors, um, and had a lot of opinions on, you know, um, doing chemo because. I don't know, you know, for her as well, you know, we want to try to go to natural route. And I know that's kind of almost imp like almost impossible. I know you guys really can't. I, I can tell you the truth, or I can paint something for you. The truth is that yeah. there is not anything uh, that has been shown to cure this other than what I have outlined. <clears throat> the last patient I had, an elderly Mexican gentleman, decided to go the immune therapy route to a clinic in Charlotte when he, he died in about 90 days. So I, I really think it's not a good idea. I can't say it anymore strongly. I can, t I can show you literally 15,000 patients over the past 20 years who have been randomly assigned to do this versus this. This worked better than this versus this. This worked better. This versus this. This worked better. This versus this, this worked better. This versus this, this worked better. And over the course of 20 years, we've gotten to a point where we cure 89.9 or 90% of patients with this um, uh, <clears throat> lymphoma. By adding radiation, we probably take it up to 95%. Uh, there is just no natural treatment that has anything like that. Yeah. This is a fatal illness if untreated and it is fatal rapidly uh, within a year um, however it is eminently curable with a short course of chemotherapy that has clearly bad side effects i have no question that if there was any any other approach we'd take it but if the, my chances of harming her are uh, of harming her indelibly for the rest of her life are one percent and the chances of curing her are 90%. Yeah. And there's, there's just not, I mean, I know that, that I mean, she wants- Can we mix some of the natural, like what would she want to do is like doing the juicing? And, yes, absolutely. And I'm, we're, we're from California. That's so ab like, absolutely juicing. I'm, I'm a juicer, so that's okay. Uh, we were kind of interested in the, I know this is, I don't know if it's weird or anything like that, but you know, I guess out here, when we have talked to some of the doctors and some of the people, it's a little bit, you know, not the norm, you know? But you know, using cannabinoids and you know, going the CPD route and everything. This like is, that. but and and D, I got it. But if you were in LA or if you were in San Francisco or you were in, you know, um, um, Modesto, this is ex exactly yeah. the same thing. If you were in Tokyo, if you were in Bangladesh, if you were in Delhi, this would be the exact same. Mm -hmm. So. You've ever, you ever? No, like it's. I think it's legal well here, right? Medical marijuana and things like that. It's not. It's not. I mean, I'm not going to turn you in if you decide to do that. <laughs> no, but, no, but no, it's, it's, just, it's, it's not. That's not therapeutic, though. That's not going to make her lymphoma go away. Mm -hmm. There is now a 25-year path of 
clear, heavily regulated. Does this work versus this? Does that work versus that? To the point where it, it works. We're here at the Rex Hospital and we're just leaving. We just got our little goodie bag of treats and uh, we're on our way to the car. I'm gonna take this one and put her in her wonderful car seat as she's a very big <laughs> child and um, prepare her to take her home and do with, do what really cool husbands do and that's take care of their beautiful wives. So uh, stay tuned. Oh, uh, when we get home, we'll do a post or a video on what exactly she has and what's the process and the need, and we'll go from there. bad news but it'll be okay so I had to get admitted into the hospital um, right away the results from the PET scan came back pretty bad um, it was a lot worse than we thought it might not be stage 2 it might be even worse but at least we caught it. And I'm in here now, like a pin cushion. <laughs> All these needles. Well, this hospital food? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're so fat. I mean, I was fat. I mean, I'm just. Well, he's skinny now. I'm not skinny, but I'm standing though. <laughs> I'm still ugly though. Uh -oh. And get some food and get an IV, and we'll go from there. It's after the surgery, it's Thursday, August 6, 2016, and I just had my biopsy on my left collarbone. You can see the little bruising right there. And my port on this shoulder, um, I'm not going to show that to you guys, it looks gross. Um, just had it done. Boy, I woke up in a twilight zone, I was like... In and out of it. And she didn't even know who I was. He was like, he was like, hey, it's me. It's me. It's your husband. And I was like, the guy ain't married. <laughs> I'm 24. What are you talking about? I'm too young. Yeah, I bet a bunch of people wish he wasn't married, especially to me. You wish I wasn't married? I said, I bet a bunch of people wish you wasn't married. Especially married to me, Sips T. Oh well. I'm just kidding. Nah, I ain't gonna throw no shade. There's too much shade out there already. Why are you doing the side eye? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it was a success. Oh shit. <laughs> Hi everybody. I'm um, just giving an update. First of all, I want to thank everybody for all the love and support, for sharing and donating my GoFundMe. Um, it's been so helpful, so, so helpful for me and my family out here. And I want to thank the UNC Rex Healthcare Center for my port pillow to keep my port safe and my really cool goodie bag. You got a coloring book. I got a coloring book. Today will be my first round of chemo, so let's keep
keep the good vibes, the good energy, and let's fight this and kick cancer's butt. I'm so ready to get it over with. And I just want to say thank you again, and I love you guys. And do you have anything else to say, Annie? Nah. <laughs> Appreciate everybody. You know. how my heart took the chemo. I think I did pretty good. It wasn't too crazy in the beginning, huh honey? Shut up, <laughs> I just got your regular jitters. But well, they regular jitters, none. It was crazy, but. It was in there chopping at the bitch. I could, it was uncontrollable. Looking like a little red nose. Like a red nose. Stop, 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 like a red nose. Yeah. So that's where we're headed. We're at the UNC Rec Center, North Carolina. And we're gonna see how this goes. Look, I'll check back in once we check in. Good vibes, everybody. October 18th, 2016. And. Why is he going into the other park? Babe over here, my honey bunchkey, went bald. He cut his hair and everything and shaved his beard. For why? <laughs> for me. He why? did it for me. Because I'm going to lose my hair soon. Mm. I'm enjoying my hair while I can. And I know I look super beat right now. I just haven't touched my makeup in so long and I missed it. So that's that's why. So right now we're at the Rex Center. And I have an appointment. So that's where we're going right now. Just wanted to bring you guys with me. I mean, I should, my hair goes back too. So I'm just playing with it. I'm just cutting like all kind of weird sh shapes and stuff. I kind of like that one though. It's like the sides are shaved. Watch, check out my head. And look to the side. <laughs> I see that. I was watching uh, what, one of the movies and he had did his hair like that. We'll do it to like the back of your shoulder. Yeah, right there. Right there. See, even LJ. See, right there. It's gonna look pretty. Yes. Higher. Mom, look where my finger is. Mom, my finger. Higher, Hawaiian. Higher. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Don't laugh. It's not funny. Oh, Mom. Antonio said, just cut it, Trish. <laughs> oh, that ain't funny. Cut it. Yeah, cut it, baby. <laughs> Mom, stop acting like that. Fuck that, it's long your hair. <laughs> oh, Alex, shit. Alex, I'm sorry. Oh, you're going too long. You gotta cut it right. I'm gonna do oh, it I after. Because want, she wants to layer oh, so I'm shit. just... Who else oh, is watching? You guys never act like this when my hair got cut bald. You different. Mm -hmm. I went mm -hmm. bald and everybody was like, ooh, yeah, good. Now you ugly. You was always ugly. Whatever. <gasps> oh, yes! Shit. yes. Yeah. Bro, I have never seen you with this short of hair. 
cut mine too. Yeah, same. <laughs> This looks oh sick. my god! Okay, can you sit down? Okay. Yeah, no, now you can sit on this one. Oh <laughs> my gosh. That is all of the hair there. Have a seat out there. Oh, okay, let's see that. Oh yeah. But hi, say hi. <laughs> no, oh, oh, man. Back in Dalton. What? It's not my fault. I cut my hair. Okay. Damn. That shit looks good, I'm not gonna lie. It looks kinda fresh though. Yeah. Damn, Who's Alexandria? Is this is Alejandra. Oh, that was cool. That was what you have a No, ma'am. Who's what though? Man, Alex is short hair. Just cut it all off. Poor Alex. Thanks for all those, you know, watching for support. We appreciate it. What's up? Oi, what you say? How's it, my boss? What's up, what's up, Sadat? Antonio? Brandon, what's up, everybody? Jamal, thank you guys for watching and supporting the wife. You know? Oh, don't cry, Suma. Oh, don't cry, Pepe. That was really good. Mama Butt, Mama Bear's here? What's up, Mama Bear? Hey. Oh, my God. This is the I'm shortest. not used to seeing Man, this doesn't even, I have never seen you in this short hair. It's okay, she got that. bunny too but he was gonna have the bunny see this one's a christmas story bunny um it's super cute he's jealous because they didn't have his size i'm not jealous <laughs> he's mad he's mad, mad because they didn't have his size and they had my size and he knew i wanted it too so he just got so we are rocking our onesies over there because it gets pretty cold and i'm the bunny shit i don't care about the cold issues <laughs> and he's the moose. See what 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 uh, pants you got on today, babe? I want a pants on. Not the pants, excuse me. The shoes. Me and my life together. Oh, I'm still waking up, guys. Get on the cock out my shoes. Ooh, I'm dirty. <laughs> okay. Shit. I got my we both got our little uh, man shoes on. But you know see when we get out the car. It's North Carolina. It's a really gloomy day. But it's gonna be a good day, still, regardless. So we'll see you guys when we get there. Good vibes, everybody. Send good vibes. Say vibes. Send good vibes. Good vibes, everybody. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Today is my last day of chemo. Um, last round is round number six, and I'm really excited. And I'm super, super excited. And I know Honey's excited for me as well, because um, I don't have to do this anymore. I have to deal with it. Uh, hopefully, no radiation. Um, that's what we're aiming for. But. because I hate the way that chemo makes me feel and it makes me go crazy. Um, my husband can attest for that. Um, it makes me crazy, huh, babe? I get pretty psycho. Um, but... I'm just really happy. So, I will show you guys the way there and 
the nun who got into the taxi cab? No, you go ahead and let me know. Okay, she got into the taxi cab. Okay. And the cab driver kept looking at her and looking exactly. at her. Uh -huh. And the cab driver said, excuse me. Um, uh, the nun said, oh, excuse me, my son. Why are you staring at me like this? Because mm -hmm. he was looking at her in the rear view mirror. Okay. And she said, well, ma'am, I'd like to ask you a question. If I don't want to offend you. <laughs> oh, you can't right. offend me, my deaf son. Right, right, I've right. heard everything. Tell me, my son, what's on your mind? Well, ma'am, I'd like to be kissed by a nun. Oh, I'd be delighted to kiss you under two conditions. First, you have to be Catholic, and the second, you have to be single. Oh, okay. I'm single and I'm Catholic. And with that, it goes into the first alleyway, and boy, does he get kissed. Whoa. Big time. Whoa. Dries out. Driving on, ma'am. Yes, my son. I have a confession to make. What's that, my son? I'm not Catholic and I'm married. Oh, that's okay. My name is George and I'm on my way to a Halloween party. <laughs> Bravo. That's what she gets Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> that's right. That's how we that's how we make it. Dude, we got the good people here at Rex. So if you you know, if you need a, a, a place to go, Rex is the place. They got comedy, they got good food, they got Miss J right here throwing it down. We laugh laughing to be that. Uh, so you can what they got you? They what they got you popping up here? What they got you? What they got in the cup? What's that? Same as three centuries. Oh, wow. That's that Chinese food. Yeah, that's the Chinese food. No, it's not. What you drinking? Water. 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 Turn it to you to the head. Still gonna have a drink. Oh man, I just want to drink. It was nasty, huh? It was like a child. Just look at the camera and tell how much you love it. Tell me you love it. You love it, huh? <laughs> Oh, we never would survive. Remember when we thought we never would survive. Hey, bro, Back home, girl. Crazy. <laughs> Look, time in our lives is over now. Well, let's, let's knock this out. Now we gotta finish the ending. We're good to go. Rock in a row. Sounds like some boat. But... Alright, well, let's go get some medicine. Yeah. And then, uh, get some 
rest and that'll be it. Call it a day. Yep. It's a beautiful day today. It's a perfect day to be done with chemo. Any day is a perfect day to be done with chemo. And uh, I'm really happy. <laughs> Thank you, baby, for always supporting me. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Um, we'll see you guys when we get home. <laughs> We're done to the next episode. Yeah. <laughs>